Hi everybody, this is Elisa with Fusion DIY. Thank you for returning to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I take all kinds of items that typically you would find in a landfill and I restore, repaint, repurpose, and resell them in my booth, which is located at the Pickers Junction in Sellersville, Pennsylvania. So I'm on vacation this week and for my full-time job and what do you do when you go on vacation? You go thrifting, right? So that's what I did and I got amazing things today that I wanted to share with you. So first off, I found this beautiful candlestick and if you look at the look at the detail in there, this is I don't believe it's solid silver. I think it's silver plated. Um, but I'm definitely going to paint it and distress it and then I will sell it. I may put something on the top here just so that you can put a pillar candle on it and rather than a, a stick candle, but um, we'll see. We'll see how it, it turns out. Then I also found this little basket and I thought what I would do is fill it with mason jars uh, and maybe some baby's breath or some floral in there. Um, this was a dollar and the candlestick was a dollar as well. I actually visited my Habitat for Humanity store and I like to go up there and frequent them because uh, they are such an awesome group. I found this and I have been looking for one of these for quite a long time. Uh, this is not going to be for sale. It's actually going to be used so that I can sell some mugs. And I've been looking for one for a while and this one I really liked. I'll probably paint it and distress it and um, I'll sell it, uh, I'll sell the mugs on the mug tree. Again, this was a dollar as well. I found this crock and there's nothing I need to do to this except clean it up. It's very dirty, um, but this was also a dollar. I thought maybe what I'd do is maybe get, um, put so some type of a, a Ray Dunn style of lettering on here. I don't know. But for a dollar, I couldn't pass it up. It was a great find. There's no chips, no cracks, nothing. It's in perfect condition. So yay, that was great. I also found this little, this little uh, container. This I plan on using on my three-tier tray that I have in my booth. Uh, just as an add-on, just to make it a little bit more interesting. Again, a dollar. So if there was something that was not a dollar, I'll make sure that I, I show you. Uh, this I found as well and I love the detail in this. So this was, again, it was a dollar, but it it's in great condition. Um, I don't know if it's, it feels like it might be melamine. It's not ceramic uh, and it's not wood. So I think it might be melamine. But if you look at the detail in this, um, this is going to be beautiful and i don't know about you guys here comes ryan hi baby um, i don't know about you guys but i have been getting candlesticks like this and i have been painting them the apothecary green and then white waxing them and every time i put one in my booth it sells and it sells immediately so i am just as happy to have this and i will do the same thing with that and hopefully sell it soon I love wall pockets and this one I will definitely paint and fill with some kind of floral. Uh, my cats are here because they're interested to see what is going on. This is Dixie. Hi Dix. And this is Ryan, my main coon. But they are very nosy little cats and so they want to know what's going on. They're just so cute though. So anyway, so this I will paint. And I'm not sure what color yet, but it really depends upon what I end up putting in it. Probably we'll put lavender in it because I had one that had lavender in it and that sold very, very well. So we'll see. I mean, as soon as I put it out in my booth, it was gone within a couple of weeks. So that was a great find. Look at this. I could not believe that I found this for a dollar. Now this, my friends, is the real McCoy. Right, so if you look at this and then look at the back, these go for about 20 bucks on eBay or on Etsy. And this is heavy. It's a good, heavy, solid jello mold. So I am going to just clean it up and put it in my booth 
and we'll see. We'll see if we sell. The last one I, I got was a in the shape of an acorn, I think it was. Um, and I put a $6 tag on it, and that sold right away. I put it in the booth one Saturday, and by the next Saturday it was gone. So um, we'll see. We'll see what happens with that. But I just couldn't believe it when I saw it. I found today was a day for Crocs. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, I know. Today was a day for Crocs. So I found this one and it's got the, the gasket. A lot of times when I find them, they don't have them. This one had it. And so as soon as I saw it, I snatched it up. That was an excellent find. And I did find another one. This one is missing the top, uh, which is okay. Cause what I'll probably end up doing is taking this off. I'll take the hardware off. Now listen, you guys need to move because you're, you're not helping me. Come on, you need to go down. Down you go. Let's go. Let's go, you too. Down. Ah, pets. Anyway, so this was a dollar. And then I also found, while I was poking around back in the hardware area, I found these two handles. Now I know that these are not, um, although I have to tell you, they, they are iron. They're very heavy. They're not the... Um, the aluminum ones that you find in the store these are these are thick and they're they're not bendable at all so i had in my mind that i wanted to make a charcuterie board and i was going to put handles on each side of it so these were these were a dollar for the both of them and uh, normally they run about a dollar fifty a dollar seventy nine at the local big box store so i felt like that was a really good buy I also did find a couple of drill bits, which I really needed. Um, so those are gonna be for my use. But again, this crock, what I'll do is I'll probably do the, um, the textured paint on it to make it look like it's an old antique crock. And then I'll fill it with, uh, maybe I'll put a, uh, a stamp on the front and then I'll fill it with some lavender. I had one in the booth for about two or three weeks and that sold just like that. So I'm looking forward to doing that. And then in this box, this is the last item, I found this aluminum pan. Now the reason that I purchased this was because I had seen another DIYer actually paint this, the apothecary, and then use the birds from the Brocante uh, Iron Orchid Designs transfers. And so I am going to do that. And she said that hers sold for like $28. So I don't know how much I'm going to charge for it, but I'll tell you that it was, it turned out beautiful and I'm looking forward to doing that with this. So that is the first box. Then I also found this basket. Now this basket I purchased primarily because, okay, uh, time for a confession. I am a fabric hoarder big time. And my mom was a seamstress, so I've inherited a lot of fabric from her. And I have a fabric addiction. Anytime I go to a yard sale, anytime I go to a flea market, I always seem to find the fabric boxes. And especially when I find cotton that I can use when I'm quilting, I snatch it up. Well, I had a reality check this past weekend and I need to get rid of some of my stash. So what I'm gonna do is price it up and I'm going to put it in my booth in this basket, basket and this is the pur purpose for that purchase. This basket was $3 and it's in really good condition. So I'm not gonna do really anything to it. I'm just going to clean it up and put the, um, put the fabric in there this little thing I came across and I'm sure that you guys have seen these from time to time but I just thought it was such a pretty color and it is in really good condition and so I am really not going to do much to this I may put some faux flowers in it maybe some faux succulents I'm not really sure but for a dollar it was a dollar for the entire set I just couldn't I couldn't pass it up it's very dirty um, but listen, dirt, I can, I can handle dirt. Um, it's just in really great condition. There's no markings on it. So I don't really know 
you know, where it came from, but it's the tray and the three pots, and I just thought it was a wonderful, a wonderful find. So, you know, I've gone to the Habitat store on the weekends, and when I go on the weekends, I usually don't find things like this. So I was especially grateful to find all these good things. I don't know if this was a medicine bottle or what, but it to me, it resembled an antique bottle. Uh, and you guys might recognize the monogram on the top of the bottle. If you do, please let me know. It's probably some kind of a liquor bottle, but I thought it would look great um, in my booth. I do have a couple of other antique bottles that I'm going to put with it and sell it all as a group. I also did find this one, and I don't know what this one was for, but again, it looks like it, it's an old one. It could be an old one. So I'll put this all together in, in a, uh, a container of some sort. Whenever I find ball jars, I always pick up ball jars. Usually I find them for a dollar a piece, and, uh, and today was no exception. So I found this one, and I like the extra wide mouth because you can fit your florals in there um, without too much of an issue. And then I also found this little, little box. Um, I'm going to paint the box. And I found these small mason jars, these small ball jars. And look at how perfectly these fit. So I'm not sure if I'm going to pair it all up or what I'm going to do. But I just thought, well, you know what? That was meant to be. So I'm going to probably put it together as a group and sell it as one, one whole piece. So, and here comes Lucy. And then I found two more that I'll use at some point. Um, this is also from my three tier tray, a salt and pepper shaker. I figured, you know, these are always good to have on a three tier tray. People may not buy them, but just to, for the aesthetic, um, that's a good thing. That was a dollar for the pair and then this little wire basket. These baskets are always good uh, to use if you're making some kind of a memo board or you're doing something for a bathroom. These are always great to have, and I do collect these whenever I find them. So that's what was in the basket. And then lastly, oh, actually not lastly, uh, I do have more. I found, I couldn't believe it. I was walking through, hi Luce. I, okay, I hear you. I was walking through the store and I spotted these on the bottom shelf and I was like, no way. Look at these, look at these. These were $5 a piece and I got three of them, right? They are 125 ounces and they, are, they look like they're brand new. They are in perfect condition. And like I said, I have three of them here, one, two, three. And I looked on the internet and I found them selling at Wayfair for $24.99 a piece. So I definitely snatched those up and I'm hoping that these will sell fairly quickly. The thing that I like about this is that this is just a flip. You don't have to do anything to them. They're clean. They look like they've never been used. So all I really would have to do is take the price ticket off and ticket it my price and put them in my booth so it would be a very easy flip which listen i like easy but um i couldn't believe it 24.99 at wayfair i i was like oh. and then as i was walking through the store with them in my basket somebody said oh are you definitely purchasing those and i said yeah yeah i'm definitely purchasing them so i was very happy with that when i saw those and that was one of those things that, like I said, you know, these are things that I don't normally see them on a Saturday uh, when I am shopping on a Saturday. So that was especially nice to, to find these. And then finally, a couple of other things. I found this very cute Noah's Ark set. And I just thought, you know, this was a, a great little find. If I can get the bag open. Now this was at a different thrift store. So this one was 
It was ticketed $3.99, but I believe it was 50% off, so I think I paid $2 for this. But I think that this is just adorable. Mr. Ryan, what are you doing? Come on, go down. You need to go down. I'm busy. Go on. Go, 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 go. Oh, he's being so stubborn today. Okay, so there's two of each of the animals, and I just thought, oh my gosh, this is so cute. So for $2, whoops, $2, I thought, what a great little find. And there's more in there, including Noah and his wife, and a bunch of other other animals, but I thought, oh, this is great. Now, my booth is located in Sellersville, Pennsylvania, as I had mentioned earlier, and that area has a, a Mennonite community. Not huge, but there is a Mennonite community there, and I thought perhaps that might be something that um, someone from the Mennonite community would really enjoy. So, uh, for $3.99, or actually 50% off, $3.99, I could definitely not pass it up. It was a great find. Okay, and then also I found this little pitcher. Now, I'm not going to do anything to this. Don't you just love the patina on it? It is beautiful. I'm just going to wipe it down and get some of the dirt off of it and some of the dust. But my thought was that I would put some kind of florals in here. And it's just so pretty. Look at the handle. I love the handle. The handle on that is beautiful. It doesn't indicate that it is pewter. It was 99 cents less 50%, so it was 50 cents. And listen, for 50 cents, I could definitely do something with it. Uh, it doesn't indicate that it's pewter. It feels kind of heavy, so it might be, but it's not marked, so I'm not sure. But, and then I found these two. And these will be great, I think, for around Christmas time to put some kind of Christmas decor in them. Um, this one has flowers on it. And this one, what is this? I don't know if it's, it looks like leaves, maybe. Autumn leaves, perhaps. But these were 50 cents, and then they were 50% off. So these were 25 cents a piece. I could definitely do something with those. I found a picture frame. This was $1.99 and it was 50% off, so it was a dollar. And I thought what I could do with that is um, paint it and distress it back. It's got a real pretty pattern on it and I think it would look wonderful. And I won't charge a lot for it because I didn't pay a lot for it, but it's always nice just to have, um, to have and to, uh, to, distress it. Now this I also found uh, and my plan for this was to make a fruit basket with it. It's a very sturdy, it looks like it might have been a, a frying basket or something along that lines, but it is extremely sturdy. The handles are attached, it's in good condition, and I thought that I would do something with it along that lines. I may change my mind as time goes on, uh, but once I start working on it, we'll see. We'll see what, what it ends up being. So that is my thrift haul for today. And uh, which item did you think was the best find? I happen to really like the mason jars. I really felt like that was something that I was really very fortunate to find. And I'm gonna enjoy putting those in my booth. They'll probably be in my booth this weekend and hopefully, you know, they'll, they'll flip fairly quickly. Um, but I wanna thank you for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, give it a like, hit the notification bell so that every time I produce a new video, you'll be notified, and share this video with a friend. That helps to grow my channel, and uh, I'll be able to bring you additional uh, videos in the future. Thanks again, have a great week, and God bless.